Yo, 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 what is good, y'all? It's your boy, RC the Great, back with another quick video. Hopefully, you are having a fantastic week. I wanted to give you guys an update on what I have planned for season six, some of the videos I might be making, some things I'm looking to do with my team, some stuff that I might see happening in the market, maybe some predictions going on with the season. But I also wanted to update you on what's been happening with my channel. I haven't been making as many YouTube videos as usual, haven't been rolling them out as much as I could because I am studying and doing some different things for my personal businesses and things on the side. I do do online coaching as far as personal training and nutrition, and I also have a youth sports performance business that I do on the side alongside my regular job. So I just haven't been able to put as much time into 2K on my actual account, but I do stream on Twitch and I'm on Twitch at least four times a week, streaming like three hours each time that I stream. So if you wanna check out my streams, make sure you follow me on Twitch twitch.tv slash rc8great but let's get into the video on some of the things that i think are possibly going to be happening and what i've been doing with my team so as you can see i was able to pick up this galaxy opal kermit washington from the triple threat offline vault now this card was extremely hard to get i think i played luckily only like 75 to 100 games but last time when i went for this terry the shinger card i had to play over 500 games so i was kind of worried that i wasn't going to pick up kermit fast enough but we still have three days left, so I think if you guys have an hour here and there to play, you should definitely be trying to pick up this Kermit because he is a defensive beast and he has a very good shot that makes his 81 three-point rating very still good for the game. You can still score at a high clip with him. He has a very good release and you can put deep threes on him so he can shoot pretty well. But everything else is going to be able to help your team out as we go into the next season. I was also able to get to level 40 and pick up the Galaxy Opal David Robinson for my main team. He's also going to be a huge staple to the team alongside this West Unsell that I grinded spotlights for. As you guys know, I don't play very, very, very much. I do play probably more than like the super average person that goes to work and stuff like that because I do make content. But if you look at my spotlights, I did not finish all the spotlights at all. I only went for what's unsell because I felt like he would help my team out going into season six unlimited because I feel like he's going to have great longevity. Even though he's only six foot seven, he is a very good card. His stats are very good. He has great playmaking badges. He also has very good ball handling and things like that. He can dribble. His shot's great. So West Unsell, I think, is one of the best cards in the game right now. We're going to be going into the season with Magic Johnson. And I'm actually looking to pick up from the auction house on Friday. Remember, we get a new season starting on Friday. So that's when I think a lot of the cards are going to drop in price. One of my favorite cards in the game always is Larry Bird. So we are possibly going to be picking up Larry Bird on Friday when more cards come out. Maybe the servers are going to crash. Something's going to happen. And I do think Larry Bird's price is going to go down even more than it is here. Last night, he was ending at like 120K. So that was a steal if you could have got him then. But I'm possibly going to be looking for a Larry Bird that has a speed Grinch on him. And he's going to be my starting small forward. And that's going to move Kermit Washington down to my backup on small forward. The next thing I'm going to need is to replace this Kevin McHale. And to replace Kevin McHale, I think I'm going to be looking to get this Dark Matter uh, Kevin Garnett, who is one of my favorite cards always, and he was one of my favorite players in real life too. So his price, I believe, is probably going to be under 350k on Friday when all the new cards drop and the new season begins. So I'm waiting for Kevin Garnett's price to drop, and we're going to be adding him, and he's going to actually start at power forward for us. That's going to do is move West Unsell down to our backup center, and then I'm going to have Draymond Green at power forward. Draymond Green is still an amazing card, so he is going to stay on my team. And him and West Unsold are going to run like they did before I was able to get Kermit and David Robinson. The last thing I'm going to need to update my team is a backup point guard. Now, we have, not only are we gonna get a new season reward, we're gonna get new cards, but we're most likely going to be getting more Galaxy Opal token market rewards. I'm gonna be able to finally get one of these token rewards I've never reached the Galaxy Opal market before. So this is the first time that I'm able to get a Galaxy Opal token market award. I'm gonna be able to redeem one more pink diamond. It could possibly be a good pink diamond, we never know. Once I redeem that, I will have enough tokens to pick up whatever reward they release. I am truly hoping is a good point guard or a good shooting guard that I can immediately add to my team because I do not want to add any of the cards that are currently here right now. I could add somebody like Moses Malone and not buy Kevin Garnett, but honestly, Kevin Garnett is better and I like him better, so I would rather just spend the MT on Kevin Garnett. So I'm truly hoping we get a point guard, shooting guard, or small forward shooting guard that we can use. 
out of this market and I can add him to my team and that would actually help me out for the unlimited season. As far as the season reward and things like that, I'm truly hoping we get somebody like maybe a Carmelo Anthony, maybe a Rudy Gay, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. We're also gonna have a new unlimited reward as you guys know. We're gonna have a new spotlight challenges all coming out. We're also going to have new vault. Everything is going to be new on Friday. So if you're looking to upgrade your team, I do not recommend buying too many things out of the auction house this week. Try to hold off until Friday before making big purchases because a lot of these cards are going to go down in value. They're not gonna be giving you XP anymore. Nothing's gonna happen with these cards besides they're going to lose value unless they are lock-ins. So looking at some of these cards, you know we have the idol set. Idols 2 is going to be finishing up very, very soon. We have one more player, or is it two more players? Two more players and then we get the lock-in for that. But if you remember last time, Chris Webber was the lock-in and he actually ended up being worse than Anthony Davis. So just be careful if you lock in in these sets as well because these cards are still going to end up losing value unless you really, really like the card and they're gonna help you out. I do not recommend locking in unless, like I said, they're amazing or they're really going to help your team or you actually like them in real life. Like if it was a Rondo that I had to lock in for, you guys know I like Rondo. I'm probably gonna lock in for him just because I like Rondo. But other than that, I try not to lock too many sets. We are gonna get this Kevin Garnett. We're probably gonna sell him back before his value goes down or his value might go up depending on who the lock in is. But this is gonna be the only card that I'll probably have from this Idols, Idols 2 set. Now looking at the heroes, this was a very big debate for me if I wanted to lock in these coaches or not. These coaches are actually very, very good. I cannot lie to you especially Phil Jackson. This Phil Jackson is amazing. You get a plus 10 three-point shot. That pretty much makes any card on the court able to be able to hit from three. But we are also getting a ton of Dark Matter cards coming out soon. So in my mind, all of my cards are going to be pretty good anyway, pretty juiced. I don't have trouble winning very much. So I'm not going to mind using the cards I already have because I don't really need those boosts. So I'd rather have the MT I'm still gonna be able to win games. I don't need every card to have a 99-3. I think they do say it might go over 99, like you can have a 106 or 108 three-point or whatever. That's still fine. I'm able to beat people with budget cards now and they have you know, Dark Matters and Galaxy Opals. So if I have Galaxy Opals, Pink Diamonds and Dark Matters, I'm pretty sure I can beat somebody that has plus 10 stats. That's how I'm looking at it. So that's why I did not lock in this set. I did not wanna spend that much MT. I feel like I'm gonna be fine, but as far as auctions go, I think once these Super Packs are gone, the Super Packs that are in here right now, we're gonna have a couple more days left of these, two days. When these go away, I do think that the prices are going to shoot up for those heroes for a little bit, maybe like a week or two, because they're no longer gonna be a high supply of them. Once that supply drops, there's no more in packs, they're gonna shoot up in price for a little bit. But once people start you know, getting more Dark Matter cards, getting more Galaxy Opals, they're not gonna want those lock-ins very much so we could see those card prices start going downwards. We'll revisit this as I see what happens, but that's my prediction for now. Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is badges, man. Badges are starting to lose value. As we see more cards come out, already having Quick First Step, which used to be a badge that went for a ton. You can see it's only going for 600 for the silver. This badge used to go for so much. But since badges are coming out or cards are coming out with Hall of Fame quick first step left and right, you might want to start selling a lot of these. These are not going to be valuable at all, but there are some badges that are still very, very valuable. I think my guy Hoove made a video with Floki and it can really take you through the auction house on how to make MT on that. Definitely go check out Hoove's video. But I will tell you, if you have a blinders badge, let's go check out the blinders badge. And I do think that this badge is one of the ones that's in the realm of clamps and how uh, Deep Threes was early on in the season. So this Blinders badge is a, a badge that people are really seeking out because not many cards come with Blinders and especially Hall of Fame Blinders, things like that. So you want to rack up on Blinders badges if you can, and then you'll be able to sell those back for a lot of MT until cards start coming out with Blinders on them, which can be just around the corner when we start getting GOAT cards towards the end of the year. 
So blinders is definitely gonna be your go-to. It's probably gonna cost like 25K or something to get a card badged out with blinders. As you can see, the gold goes for 15K or more. So definitely, if you have these badge badges, sell those and you can make a pretty good amount of MT from them. Let me see if I can snipe one real quick while we're on video. Probably not. But if I can find one for under like 8K MT, I will definitely buy it and then sell it back. See if I can make some MT up for that. So we got 8.5 was the lowest. So yeah, all three of those, you're gonna be paying like 24K, 30K to bash out your car with blinders. So this is one of the ones that you definitely wanna start holding on to if you have it. Now, as far as my team limited, I did not end up getting Paul Gasol this season on this account, but on my no money, no time account, we did get Paul Gasol because I wanted to test what I got for the Hall of Fame badge and I wanted to see how Paul Gasol was. So I will have some gameplay of uh, Paul Gasol when we stream our no money spent account. So make sure you look out for that. Once again, follow me on Twitch if you want to keep up with our streams. But I did get Pick Dodger and I think Hall of Fame handles for days as my badges this year from the level 39 and then from limited. So not too bad. I'm looking to put handles for days on Wes Unseld or Kevin Garnett. My choice for Kevin Garnett is most likely just gonna be because I can sell him back for more possibly, but Wes Unseld is actually very good and could utilize the pick dodger. I don't even know. I'm just probably just gonna throw it on somebody because it doesn't matter that much, although it is useful. Maybe somebody that's gonna be defending the ball a lot. Now, when we get into unlimited for the next season, I am not looking to lose many games off the bat, kind of how I do every single season. I have 19 losses here, but a lot of those are just like throwaway stuff. At once I get the reward, I don't really care very much. So we're trying to go through, win different games, and we're going to be making a new defensive tips video for you guys based on some new stuff I've been learning, based on how the community plays now. Everybody likes to run around in circles. They really try to get to the rim, kick out, get to the rim, kick out. So I want to teach you guys a defense that I've been using, different than the settings that anybody else uses. And I'm going to show you how you can win more games against people that play of that style. So we cover many different styles and how to beat certain people. And now I have a way to beat those run around, run around, run around, zigzag, try to get to the rim kind of guys. And we're going to go over that video for you guys and hopefully it helps many people out. We also have series videos that we're gonna work out and a couple more playbooks, but you guys gotta give me some time because like I said, I am working on some other things. I'm studying, doing personal training, you know, gotta do my dad duties, gotta make sure I'm getting all my regular work done, workout, all that stuff, and still gotta get YouTube videos out. So they will come in due time. I appreciate you guys for being patient with me. Once again, once we start updating our team, I'll probably keep you guys updated on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, Everyday RCA. There's so many ways to interact with me outside of just YouTube. Hopefully you guys follow me on all my socials. Definitely Twitch and Twitter. Those will definitely keep you updated with RCA. But until the next video, hopefully you guys are enjoying your week once again. I will update you once again on Twitch once we get on there. Probably gonna be streaming this Friday and Saturday on this account and the No Time Spend account. But I appreciate you guys once again, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.